Hi. I'm getting ready to make some lentil soup and I'll show you guys what I do with that. I made some tofu mousse yesterday. We're gonna look at that. Okay, I look scruffy. I started my cycle last night and I slept in over the time I'm supposed to sleep. I feel really tired. Uh, but I'm gonna still move forward. I don't feel as bad. I was cramping, but um, now I'm not. I feel a lot better. So I am gonna go to the gym, but I need to eat breakfast and I need to cook this lentil soup because I'm gonna do the lentil soup in the slow cooker and it takes a really long time, like six hours. But it's so worth the six hours because it's <sighs> delicious. Mm. Okay, so yesterday I had made some mousse, chocolate mousse. I want to see what it looks like. I haven't had a chance. It looks more like pudding than mousse. Okay, so this is what it came out like, the consistency. I'm going to grab a spoon. Okay, so let's see. You guys can see. That's what it looks like. Mmm. It's not bad. It's not airy like a mousse. It's more of like a pudding. I actually don't mind it. All right, I'm not eating this for breakfast. This way. <laughs> okay, so I have a protein shake here just to add in some more protein in my diet. Protein shakes are convenient for me. Now, if I wasn't like really big on weight training, or trying to maintain a certain amount of muscle mass, I wouldn't put so much emphasis on protein because it's really hard to be protein deficient. You literally have to be starving. But whenever you're like particular about your goals and fitness, all of that jazz, like I said, weight training, you're constantly lifting weights, then getting in a good amount, a certain amount of protein is important. Um, yeah, so I have a protein shake. So we have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is what I want. I didn't feel like cooking. And this is what I was craving. I'm almost like, oh, man. So I have a coffee. Let me finish trying. So I have soy milk and stevia in my coffee. Stevia is a plant-based sweetener, zero calories. Super sweet. I like the taste. It's an acquired taste. And I do monitor how much I use throughout the day. Using too much of any artificial sweetener can like trigger more cravings. But for the most part, if I stay within like a certain, like I don't overdo it, then I'm good. On to making the lentil soup. I'm taking, I think, a 16 ounce bag of lentils. Before rinsing and cooking them, I like to sort through them and pick out any debris any bad pieces or anything that isn't quite edible or appealing or basically just anything i wouldn't eat like this i don't know if that's a rock or a, a old rusted lentil but it got tossed to the side so that's what i do i just go through and sort make sure i get the best pieces in there that will cook well because it does affect the soup and that's pretty much everything that I took out of the bag that will not be cooked. So after that I'm going to rinse the lentils in a strainer and then I'm going to pour them into the rice cooker and now I'm going to cut up some veggies starting with an onion. I'm just going to cut it, cut it up into small pieces onion I'm using here is about a medium sized onion and I know I should be cutting this maybe in water because 
I always end up crying. <laughs> Um, but I, I get through it. Um, and next I'm going to chop up some celery, a whole stalk of celery. I'd say about a medium size too. And I will put that inside of the pot. And then I have about three carrots that I'm going to peel and then rinse and then chop up. And then I'm going to add that in my soup as well. Chopping up all these vegetables can be tedious and time consuming. So sometimes I do swap out for canned veggies, especially carrots in this instance for this recipe. Of course, fresh is always best, but fresh isn't always convenient, which is what I've learned. So I just make do with what I can do. I like to season this lentil recipe with some adobo seasoning. That's like my favorite seasoning, especially in this recipe, and then some roasted ground cumin. And I'm gonna add about six cups of water, stir that up, or like mix it up, whatever, all together really good. And then I'm going to place the crock pot in the burner, or the cooker, I'm sorry. Place the crock pot in the cooker, and then I'm going to let it cook for about six hours and all of those unused veggie parts will be placed in the compost pile okay so i have my vegan mousse it kind of looks more like pudding so i don't know i kind of want to call it pudding chocolate pudding chocolate tofu pudding it's actually kind of tasty i like it a lot better after it it has settled, so I added in some almonds and coconut. I added in some almonds and coconut, and it's quite similar to this vegan chocolate pudding that they sell at a restaurant that I like called Flower Child. I'm like obsessed with it. So this that was actually what I was kind of going for, but I think that the, the consistency is more of like pudding versus mousse. I feel like mousse is a bit more thicker, has more like air pockets in it. I don't know, but I've already tried it. I like it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste it again for y'all. I don't know. I like it. So... This is my snack. Um, and then I'm going to cook later on. Cook the rest of my food. Mmm. Okay. So let's talk about the goals on this fat loss challenge. I have kind of started making a mental shift about what I eat and be more cautious about the my portion sizes just honestly just being more aware of what I'm eating and tracking my protein and getting more of a general idea of what I'm eating caloric wise on a daily basis so I started that back in May but I kind of drifted off these last couple of weeks the thing about body recomposition is that it takes time you got to have patience so that's something that i have worked on because uh the the biggest thing is i don't want to like slash my cal my calories down to an unhealthy amount and then i'm craving and binging and i'm irritable and i have energy and i'm freezing like it's just not really a happy process i've done it before and I don't know, I just don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Um, so I have set goals and I think these are going to be realistic. So this is what I'm working towards. And I'm going to share this journey with you guys over the next 30 days. It may be more, it may be less. I don't know. We'll just see how things go. It's kind of hard to determine. But um, over the next four to five weeks, I will taper off and... We'll go from there. I'm sharing my goals. This is this is Tony's goals, just for sharing reasons, okay? So um, right now I'm gonna share my current body composition today. I usually 
whenever I'm doing like um, like when I'm tracking, I will typically weigh myself first thing in the morning after I've used the bathroom in naked. But this morning was kind of rough because I had started my cycle. When I say cycle, my menstrual cycle. And so I was like really, really tired. I had ate and then I took these shots after that. After I got up, walked around, ate, drank, all that stuff. I usually don't do that. And I'm on my cycle anyway, so it would be different regardless uh, compared to if I was off of my cycle because I am bloated and holding on to well, uh, some a lot more water than usual. So these are my current body composition stats. Right now I am currently... 137 pounds that's what i weighed myself today after eating drinking all that stuff and my body fat percentage is roughly around 25 percent i also got my measurements done my mom helped me with those so i'm going to share my measurements with you guys my body measurements are hold on i'm looking through my phone because i had it in a different area okay so I'm currently 137 pounds my neck circumference around my neck is 13 inches um, my bust is a 32 and a half inch my waistline is 27 and a quarter inch and my hips are a 37 and a half inch um, um, so yeah, those are my stats. Right now I'm 25% body fat. I want to get down to 18% body fat. I want to see what that looks like, what it feels like. So I think it's doable if I stay consistent and disciplined. <laughs> and then my goal for like body measurements, I, my goal is to have a 25 inch waist. So I'll need to lose two inches off my waist. We'll see what that looks like. If I hit 18% and I'm not at 25 inch waist, I'll be okay with that. But it's just a goal. I'm not going to beat myself up about it whenever I usually um, go through like a cut or whatever. I try not to weigh myself too much or put a lot of emphasis on the scale because it can be um, really bad on my mental. I'm already at my weight goal. So like back in May, I was like 10 pounds heavier than what I am now. And my weight goal was... In between 135 140 ideally 138 and I'm there but I'm not at my body fat percent goal so I need to go at body I need to really look at what I'm doing macro wise adjust my macros from there because I honestly was not putting a lot of emphasis on macros so now I'm having to look at calories macros and um, quality of food my um, goal to get in protein this is a challenge for me especially being vegan because I have to cook the majority of my food I can't just go out like and just eat anywhere um, as opposed to someone who eats a regular diet you guys have more options my protein goal is 140 grams that's the protein goal I don't beat myself up when I can't reach it, but that is the goal and I will do my very best to stick to that. There is a goal inside of my head. Well, there is a minimum below the 140 that I will not go below. So I have my 140 goal when I hit that, um, you know, I feel great. But there is like if I don't hit the 140, there is another number that I do not go below. I basically don't like going below 130. So if I can get in at least 130 grams of protein a day, that's great. But the goal is 140. 140 grams of protein, no less than 130 grams of protein. But I'm going to do my best. Like the, the more you cut your calories, like more emphasis is on getting in that the protein like complete protein to maintain muscle especially if you like you know like in my case or anyone who weight trains um if you're into bodybuilding or if you're an at any sort of athlete just less calories you to just make sure you're getting your protein my goal is to walk at least 10,000 steps a day I'm currently pretty good with that like with my workout split like getting up and training is like really easy it's the it's the dieting part um but what another thing that i'm gonna do is actually track my workouts like 
stay consistent with having them very, very well planned and um, looking at how much I'm lifting and tracking my mood. Um, Because each day can be different. Some days you may feel stronger than the others. So um, that's something that I want to note, take, especially along with the foods that I'm eating and go from there. So, yeah. So that is... That is it. When you're shredding, it is like you have to put in the work. Like it, you have to make a cognitive, like a decision. Um, you have to put in the effort to want to like cut down. It's not like the best feeling, um, and it's very challenging. But I want to do it, so we're gonna do it. So I'll take you guys along the ride, um, and hopefully we can get to know each other better. I'm trying to connect like that's one of my goals this year and we're like towards the end of the year and I don't feel like I've I've made progress in that area of my life so and I really want to connect more on here especially with all the breaks I've taken like like personally and online so that's something that I'm working on is connection because that's a part of you know like the human experience so that's what I'm working on and I started this whole thing because I love sharing and interacting and so I want to keep that going. I'm not getting any younger so yeah. So I'm excited <laughs> to share more and um, see where see where this goes. So I'm getting ready to go run some errands. I have to cook the rest of my food later. I've never done this whole vlog series so this is really really new to me. Keep that in mind. So. I'm gonna try my best to iron things out and share what I do on a day-to-day -day basis as best I can. Okay, I'm gonna go now because I feel like I've talked quite a bit, but um, yeah, see ya later.